All over the country, the learning environment from before to now has drastically changed. Teachers have been introducing many new teaching methods within the last 10 years. With rise to new technology, new ideas were also born. As teachers effectively educate their students with these new methods, they'll leave class with knowledge and skills that will help them succeed in the real world. Schools have truly managed to transform into a place where you're not simply just learning about the basics. Students are now able to specialize in subject areas of interest to help prepare them for future careers. The teachers work hard to teach students leadership, respect, and to exceed expectations. As we take a look through current day high schools, we will hear from the teachers themselves how they feel times have changed and how they now teach as opposed to back in the day. Hi, my name is Karen Atkins. I am a registered nurse, but I'm also a teacher. I teach at Taylor High School, principles of health science technology, and a clinical rotation class. If you look around our classroom, you see we have anatomically correct mannequins, we have a Promethean board, and each one of our students uses a personal computer uh, during classroom time. We've learned one of many things, things such as how to prevent precious ulcers and taking your apical pulse. This class prepares you for the future in any healthcare fields, jobs you want to pursue in the future, such as I want to be an infertility doctor, and my love for biology has definitely grew since then. During this class, we've traveled to the hospital and to be hands-on with patients and learn more and more things about them. Um, now we're using more technology in the classroom. Um, one of the ways that I've used technology in my classroom is through digital online portfolios, uh, career portfolios. In the multimedia courses in particular, students learn entrepreneurship skills. Uh, they create a fictitious business and through that business, they have to define a customer base. They also have to market their products. They have to determine pricing for their products. And all of these things combined, I think, help the students become prepared for the 21st century. The technology we're learning to use in class explores new social and media opportunities not seen 10 years ago when things like pagers and cellular devices were around. For example, we're learning to use um, Photoshop and Adobe Fireworks to make social networks and posters and advertisements. It's really fun. Today we use a variety of uh, online curriculum versus maybe back in the day um, classes were taught with books. All of uh, my courses are tied to uh, real world certifications such as the uh, A plus and the CCNA, stuff that you can go out and get a job with. It will bring in probably more money than you could get without it. I interface with a lot of old colleagues that I have back in the private sector about current trends in IT and try to stay up to date and then I take that and I put it back into the classroom. Um, we use Web 2.0 tools such as Edmodo and Prezi to um, keep the students connected and to present information in a way that is not just like a paper and pencil once again, it kind of goes back to the books. And then tied into all that, here in the classroom we have um, hands-on with the computers, we build them, we work on them, and um, it all kind of circles back with the um, online stuff. So, My innovative teaching method for video production incorporates teen leadership. I feel that having trained upperclassmen direct one and two year veteran students helps support higher order thinking. This is also very relevant in the real world news environments where the director directs and leads a highly effective team. Are you guys playing the set? Press record. Five, four, three. Thank you, Matt. Last week, America pre My students take ownership of their projects as student leaders. Of course, technology has come a long way to help with this, but you need a well-trained team to lead with the tools of technology. Uh, one of the most important things that students can take away from this class is preparedness for the real world, whether that be a job, a, uh, an additional education, uh, whatever, whatever they are looking to do, my goal is to prepare them for that. I try to prepare myself by attending various trainings throughout the course of the year, in the summertime, on Saturdays. Um, when students go home, I'm still here working. Um, I also try to make education real for them. I try to have real life examples, things that they can relate to themselves. And my other big thing is to incorporate technology. We live in, an, in a world where technology is ever increasing and ever changing. And if we don't keep up with it in the classroom, students can't keep up with it in the real world. 
it's this white strip. Generally what that means is you're looking at a ligament. Remember that ligaments attach bone to bone. So the fact that it's running the entire length means it's probably a ligament, as opposed to something like this structure. Okay, it's, it's also white, okay, but it blends into, see how it starts here, and it kind of blends into the muscle. That means you're likely looking at a tendon. This class prepares me for the real world in various ways. At the beginning of the school year, I wasn't sure how anatomy and physiology was going to work. I didn't know much about it. But from the very beginning, Ms. Merck always broke things down to a level that was easy to understand. She made big words like hematopoiesis seem like nothing to me. So I'm just excited about my future because, you know, even in this class, it makes me think, okay, well, maybe I could be a, a brain surgeon or a doctor or a biologist or a researcher. And her teaching methods are what causes me to think that way. This is Chris Rice, Tiger TV, interviewing our Springwoods principal, Mr. Stallworth. Mr. Stallworth, can you tell us a little bit about our classes? I mean, it seems like since my freshman year, they have changed. Uh, can you, is it just my imagination, or can you tell us a little more about that? Sure, Chris. We've been really driven by making sure that all students are ready for college and career after they leave Springwoods High School. So we've really focused on a few things. One, student engagement. We believe that active students engaged in their learning is the best way to get them prepared for the rest of, of their studies and the rest of their life. Second, we've really focused on integrating technology. We believe the 21st century learning, getting kids actively involved with a variety of different technologies, really helps them to connect to the world and also to, to be more engaged in their learning and, and really more prepared to be successful um, outside of this. And finally, we're looking at business partnerships, looking at ways to connect students through internships, co-op experiences, mentoring, um, to give them a real world um, exposure and experience with things beyond the classroom. Many students have told me that their teachers are, know about their grades and all their subjects. Uh, can you tell me why they need to know about this? Well, we're really looking at, at student education as a collaborative experience you know, for the teachers, working together, making sure that not only classroom teachers, but assistant principals, mentors, counselors, all really are invested in every student in the building. Uh, we feel like when every, student, when every adult is concerned about the success of every child, that we have a much greater opportunity of leading kids, um, of, of taking care of kids as they go through the system and making sure that when they're at graduation, they're ready for, for what comes next. It seems to me that teachers really know what they're teaching and they know a lot about their subject. Um, can you tell me why they attend so many meetings and why there are so many people visiting Spring Woods, uh, such as resource people? Sure. Well, we know, Chris, about the, the state test as well as the SAT and ACT and those things that students need to, to demonstrate mastery on is that we have to really have a clear instructional program for them. Teachers need to really know what it is that we want students responsible for learning and make sure that as a team they have defined those outcomes and clearly plan around those about their instruction and their assessment. So yeah, you're going to see a lot of teams planning together. You're going to see us bringing in outside resources so that we'll make sure that the students have an experience in every classroom that is of the highest possible quality. Right. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about chemistry? Um, chemistry is the study of elements and how they bond together. It's actually the study of a lot of stuff, but chemistry is science and it's also one of my favorite subjects. And I see they're doing an activity right now. Uh, can you explain a little more about that? The activity is a review technique for us to study for our test that is coming up. We have different stations that are set up around the room that help, of, help us with different aspects of what we are learning and what we are going over in class. Hello, my name is Moises Ortiz, proud principal of GW Brackenridge High School in the San Antonio Independent School District. Brackenridge, a high school that is a school in transformation. At Brackenridge High School, we truly have adopted a change of transformation, not just changing the way we do things. We understand, we fully grasp that in order for a school to transform, we have to commit to certain paradigm shifts. And that is thinking about the way we think and do things. Truly, we begin with culture as part of the foundational piece of our campus. Culture as a way of introducing innovative teaching practices, ways of reaching out to kids, understanding how 21st century learners truly learn, 
And then we take these student-centered instructional pieces and we extend them beyond the classroom because we know that students do not learn in square areas. They have to get out. They have to wet their appetites. They have to get their hands dirty. They have to get out and experience things for themselves in order to make sure that that rigorous instruction is not only relevant to them, but relevant to their community to make sure that they truly become, as 21st century learners, globally competent citizens that can take action. We also understand that technology in the classroom at Brackenridge High School are just computers, but they have to serve as informational systems that are simply supplemental to learning because our kids are already tasked with discovering illnesses and solving problems that haven't been invented or haven't been formulated with technological systems that have yet to be invented. And so we know that technology is supplemental and simply a way to introduce creativity and innovation into the way they perceive problem solving. Another very important piece of transformational processes at Brackenridge High School is collaboration. Collaboration between teachers, collaboration between teachers and students, students and parents, parents, administrators, administrators and students. It truly has to be an environment where everybody shares the responsibility of teaching and learning. That every stakeholder on our campus understands that their vantage point is extremely relevant to the importance of Brackenridge High School becoming an exemplary institute of learning for 21st century learning. And the last piece is humility in school leadership. Understanding that administrators cannot run a school from top down, that student focus groups, teacher focus groups, parent focus groups, community issues, community uh, suggestions, all of them play a vital role in transforming our school into a community setting. And that means collaborative, cooperative spirit between all stakeholders. Hi, my name is Stu Martinez. I'm a student here at Brackenridge High School and uh, I really like riding my bike. It, it's a really good experience and now with my teachers I experience it in a whole different way where as I can, I can talk about it in signs of the potential kinetic energy of when I'm going down a hill or when I'm about to stop and then seeing all this come together, I really think about it in a different aspect and a different perspective because of my teachers here. Um, it's a really good experience.